going to explain how to create collapse and expand functionality, which we usually call an accordion. And this could be used to build menus to display submenu items or things like an FAQ to display the answers to the question, which, which we're going to build in this lesson. So our data source for our accordion menu will actually be an option set. It'll be an option set with a list of questions. And then we will have a answer beneath the question. At first, all we're going to do is display a list of questions. So I'm going to grab a repeating group. I'm going to set this to FAQ, which is my option set, and then display all FAQs. That will be set to full list. And I'm just going to have one row and one column. While I build this out, I just want to know the boundaries of this repeating group. Maybe I'll make this 600 width. Okay, there the repeating group is. Now we're going to take a group. This will be the collapsible group that the answer is in. So this is group answer. Set that to FAQ. And current cells FAQ. We're going to remove the style because the element will not be visible on page load and it will be collapsed when it's not visible. So within that single repeating group cell, We'll have the question and then the answer in a group, group below, which is hidden and collapsed. So on page load, we don't see that answer and the space is collapsed, it's nice and neat. Now we can put in the text for the answer. That is parent groups FAQ's answer. Set that neatly in there. Just going to bring this up further and then bring this up further. Yeah, that's fine. Let's drop in the question itself. For that, I'm going to go all the way to the edges. Use my keypad to micro adjust. I'm going to make the style at least 18, maybe bold. Let's actually make that 20. And this is simply the current cells FAQ's display. Okay, the display is this here, what I've written in these boxes. I am actually going to leave some space just for an arrow. For that arrow, I'm going to use material icon. Feel free to use any icon set just to display a, an arrow. So we know that it's clickable. And then I'm going to put these two things in a group because they're on the same row. Push this out all the way to the end. I'm going to center align that. Maybe make this 1.3 in line height. Okay, that's looking pretty good. That will be visible on page load, of course. Maybe 1.2. Okay, fantastic. So we have the arrow here, but we don't necessarily have to click the arrow. We could click anywhere to then reveal this group beneath. So on the group, group FAQ, we're going to start the workflow and just use element actions toggle. What does toggle mean? Toggle means if something is hidden, show it. And if something is showing, hide it. So we're going to toggle that group answer. And that's it. Just going to remove this border here because that was just for reference. And let's also set a separato. Let me choose my default colors, EB, EB, EB. Okay, almost ready to preview. What I might do is bring this up slightly, just about there. Bring this repeating group up slightly as well. Make it nice and neat. Okay, let's have a look to see where we are at with this. So 
So this looks pretty good um, on page load for the first time viewing it. And to see the answer, we simply click here. Because the icon is in a general group here, holding the text and the icon, you can, you know, you can click the icon, but in fact, you are clicking the group. What about changing this icon when we see this text? Because it's still on down, it should then turn around to show an up arrow. That's a very simple conditional on this icon itself, where we reference that group. We say that when the group answer is visible, then simply just change the icon to an up arrow. Let's test this quickly. Now we've got an up arrow, it hides and it changes it back again. Accordion functionality has lots of different purposes, but these are one of the main things that I tend to use them for, such as FAQs, collapsible menu menus, you can also use them for stacking groups on top of each other when you're using parameters or states to show and hide certain groups.